Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, now we are going to talk to Beard because reasons. Okay, uh, looking for grouse. We were supposed to meet here. He was heading to the dock cranes and he learned something new about the missing stalkers. So grouse is not where he thought he was. Thought he was going to be, but that's okay. Oh, why is there a dead guy out here? Okay, well, you know. Never look a gift corpse in the mouth, I guess. There's another one. What the hell happened out here? Alright, I mean, I'm not arguing, you know, free stuff. I guess I'm going to take a quick detour to, uh... Fix their stuff and hey, sell it. How are you? A little over sixteen hundred bucks. Okay, so all right, that should uh. Yeah, I did another round or two of uh, the anomalies and got some more cash. So, I'm, so I'm you got anything new? Sitting rather pretty right now. That's 9 by 19. We'll hang on to those. 9 by 18. We'll get rid of those. That looks like pretty much everything. Okay, so sell it. It's seven keys. Actually, before I go doing this mission, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, offload my new friend here, because... I think that's going to be a little bit... A little bit better of a plan. Carry that little toy. Wait, uh, why am I so heavy? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that stupid fucking 10 kilo gas cylinder. Well, we won't be having that much longer because we are going to go take care of this right now. Okay, good. Alright, let's get our asses over there, or ass, I should say, over there, and... I'm guessing the reason why there were some dead bandits laying back there is very likely um, they were caught outside during that last emission. Didn't make it to the door in time. Okay, who's hostile to me? Oh, there's zombies. Hell, this would have been a great time to have that fucking sniper rifle. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to leave the bandits alone. Fun fact, when I was doing my little rounds, picking up uh, all the various artifacts I could find, you know, because uh, I had just finished cleaning up the uh, all the uh, anomalies, you know, getting all, everything I could and selling it, another emission hit, and of course every time an emission hits, uh, it randomizes the uh, anomalies again, so more stuff. I went back and the second time, of course, wasn't quite as good as the first. Well, the funny thing is, 
I decided, you know, I ran into it's like several bandits, and I decided to do my usual thing, you know, my usual diplomatic uh, and kind uh, discussion with them. And, uh, well, anyway, I shot the bastards, and uh, it was within sight of Skadosk. Well, Beard yells out, Skadosk is under attack, we're locking down, and so... Friendly stalkers are shooting at me. So I wound up having to run away for like uh, about 15, 20 minutes of real time and having to wait until they gave up. Couldn't go anywhere near Skidosk. And of course, you can't actually advance the game without um, without uh, you know, Skidosk. Okay, so where the hell do I put this fucking gas? There it is. Ah, that would be the gas taking effect. So most of them are going to die like right now. But I believe there's a couple of them that are a little bit upset that come upstairs to discuss things with me. And sadly, there's not really any cover. Yeah, there we are. Come on, fellas. Shit, all right. Uh, grouse ain't here, so I don't have the uh, extra help. I thought shotguns were supposed to be good against these fucking things. So far, I am not impressed. All right. Now we'll go tell Beard this job is done. Beard's gonna hand us a fat stack of cash. And then we will go find out what the hell happened to Grouse. And we'll put back a better gun and put this fucking thing back in the damn... Uh, back in the box. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this is the farm area. Yeah, this this is right 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 by where the farm is anyway, so yeah. That leads under the farm. Yeah, there's the, the part of the cave say ah fuck me running. Part of the cave system I normally enter. It's a decent spot to get some relatively rare uh artifacts but it's not exactly um, super rich. I mean, I'm not, I've not found a whole lot of uh, really good stuff there. Out the bloodsucker lair. You avenged our dead brothers. God bless their souls. You've earned this reward. Five grand, meh. Coordinates received. Oh, it was another stash, cool. And a Vela's detector, cool. So let's see. Our friend, the Vela's detector, is one. 
There's two, and when uh, when I get to uh, Yanov, the third one shouldn't be too hard to locate. They're random drops, and I believe you can also buy them too. So you know it's all good. Okay, uh, let me see. Oh uh, yes, I forgot one other thing I was gonna do. Stats, and we still don't have a. Oh, that's Drop right. I have to actually go find Grouse. Well, I'm going to get my Lance. shotgun fixed. Put it back and repair it. 96 bucks. Well, rubles, whatever you want to call them. Bucks is good enough for me. Alright, um, do I want to put anything else away? Uh... What are you, 9 by 19 Yeah, I don't want to carry those around. Got about 20 keys of uh, free carry weight now. Won't need it, but got it if we want it. Alright, let's go check out what's going on with Grouse. But in fact, the term stalker is actually real. There are actually stalkers out there in the uh, exclusion zone, or at least there were until, you know, the Russian invasion. But the simple reality is they were going through the old exclusion zone and basically robbing the place fucking blind. You know, looking for whatever artifacts and things they could find. Not, you know, artifacts of powers or anything like that, but, you know, old stuff that was left over from the Soviet era. Scavenging whatever they could find. Hmm. Somebody else apparently did not make it to, uh. I guess everything is takeable from that guy. Did you have a weapon or anything like that? Probably wasn't anything any good. Well, hello there. Trimmer. That would be the medic from I know I'd be exposed eventually. I'm sure you have many questions. Tremor, would you mind explaining what's going on? I'm not hiding anything anymore. It's no use. You know now that it was me who killed Grouse. Same with Danilla and the other missing stalkers. See, this dude was blaming bloodsuckers. Hemoglobin addiction. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. There's no getting rid of it. Sometimes you feel like you can go a whole month without drinking a drop of blood. And it did happen to me a few times. But then, you explode inside and start making up for lost blood like crazy. How did you manage to keep it secret? Whoa! Fucking bandit! I mean, on one hand, I can't really blame him, but I was in the middle of something. Okay, this is not supposed to happen, by the way. Oh, they straight up killed him. That's kind of bullshit, but... Well, fuck it, whatever. Okay, um, that wasn't supposed to happen. He wasn't supposed to just die like that. Uh, what normally happens is uh, he basically tells... He told you he's got hemoglobin addiction, so... Um, and that he can't possibly... Uh, you know, keep going on like this. So then he winds up eating his own gun. Or you can shoot him yourself either way. But, well, did I get the, uh... No, I didn't. They just punked... Oh, you fucking bandits. Okay, I'm reloading. I'm not gonna go without that. That's kind of bullshit. Or do I get it after I tell Beard? Whatever. Well, I'll just... Because that little bit of loot from the bandits is just not enough to justify possibly losing that achievement. I know, I know, achievement whoring. But like I've said before, achievements in this game actually matter.
Okay, are you chuckle fucks gonna pull something? I gotta have to murder the shit out of you. I knew I'd be exposed eventually. I'm sure you have many questions. When I worked at the surgeon clinic, it was easy to cover up. There was always a surplus of donor blood to be had. But the zone was different. I thought that this harsh environment would push my condition to the sidelines. But I was wrong. I experienced the most terrible explosion of all and just couldn't think of anything else. I decided to make the killings look like bloodsucker attacks. I usually picked targets that were already wounded. And what about Danila and Grouse? Danila came to me for help after the bloodsucker raid. He was wounded. When he and Grouse decided to go hunt bloodsuckers together, I realized I won't be able to hold out much longer. I still tried to protect my secret, but my resolve was weakening. Then Grouse came along. He made sense of the situation and tried to kill me. Which brings us here. I'm sorry for all those people, but my pity won't bring them back. Okay, I got it. Enough talking. You didn't get anything. Nobody will ever get me. Okay, well. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't think he has. He's got a pistol very clearly in his holster, but apparently I'm not allowed to take it. Okay. Uh, we go tell uh, Beard. I think it might give me the achievement after I tell Beard, so I might have jumped, I jumped the gun a little, but, you know. At least that way he gets to finish his story. I'm not sure why they decided to attack him, if it was just... The uh, bandit scripting, deciding, hey, here's a random stalker, let's murder the shit out of him and take his stuff. Or, if maybe, he, after he confesses, it's scripted to uh, have them all murder the shit out of him. I don't know, but, whatever. Good thing for quick save and quick load, because that shit never happened. Hey, stalker. How are Welcome you? aboard our swamp icebreaker. <laughs> Grouse is dead. Tremor killed him like the other stalkers. Tremor's dead too. Ten grand and more stashes. Tremor, damn, the snake was right under our nose. That could have been any of one of us. I mean, Grouse, if Grouse of all people. Thank you, friend. You saved our whole camp. Here. See ya. You have attained the detective achievement. There we go. If you find any artifacts and see what we right there. You uncovered the secret behind stalker disappearances at Skados, the guilty party weren't mutants after all, but a far more dangerous foe, man. You, your successful pursuit of the truth has earned you the respect of stalkers. Stalkers think more of you now. As a sign of respect, stalkers have taken the leading medical supplies in your personal box at Skadosk. So basically, yeah, every, uh, so often your box will get some medical supplies delivered to it. Here at Skadosk, of course. Okay, well, I think that is essentially it for uh, this uh, region. I don't think I've got anything else left to do here. Well, except possibly for... Uh, I can't use the uh, mouse button to... The mouse wheel to roll back out. Okay, we've got, okay, we've got some stashes. I can run up here and get these... Well, there's several stashes. Um... That one's near the gas station. This one is up here on the farm, I believe. You know, I'll hunt those stashes down later. I think that'll be more interesting to uh, do that than... What? I think everything is basically ready to roll. I don't know if there's a delivery guy there in um, Yanov. Let's see, what kind of Hello, armor can Stalker. we get from this dude? Pla Place an order, an armored suit. 48 grand, yeah. Howdy ho! Because some of the people there in Yanov are a little bit more beefier than the ones here. Okay, Trey, do I need anything from this guy? No, but um, I am going to get rid of some of the excess medical shit before I leave. 
Give me a little bit of cash. What and... are you? Shut up, dude. Save me some weight. Well, 714 rubles, but whatever. That's a little bit of cash. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's let's quit selling. Let's go. That is pilot. Yes. How much to get the Yanov station? With your maps, only a thousand. Yeah, I showed him the maps I had. That's how you clear that quest. That's fine. Let's go. Okay. Moving from Zayton to Yanov. <coughs> yep. So that basically was the first third of the game. There might be other little quests and stuff there, but um, either I don't know about them or I've forgotten about them, one of the two. But most of them you'll get in the bar. Okay, so we're standing around. Here we are. Yanov Station is a haven of relative safety in the area around Jupiter. This is where we go our separate ways. But if you need me, look for me by the bar. First time here? I'm relatively new here myself. The name's Nitro. I work with equipment. I can repair anything you need. But getting some good tools is a problem around here. If you see anything, bring it straight to me. And if you need any technical help, come see me and I'll be glad to do what I can for you. Okay, let's take a look at our new digs. Well, sort of digs. Got beds flopped on the ground. What's up, bro? Oh, he's a he's a freedom guy. Good time to show up. I need some help. In my age, there are things I can't do. Back in the day, though. Yeah, no, I don't remember what that quest is, speak, but man. I'm gonna kind of skip that for a minute. See, freedom. You're a touch pale, buddy. How oh, here's a, he's a doctor. Okay. Or two. Okay, yeah, he's the doctor. So basically, you can get medical supplies from this dude if you so choose. Time to eat something. Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly where everything is in Yanov. Okay, this is the leader to freedom. What's up? Sadly, you can't take that. That'd be good sales goods. Um. Freedom and duty are the two major okay. factions in this. Uh, tell you how to kill controllers. Freedom. Day, okay, shut up, dude. Freedom is basically the libertarians. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to find somewhere where everyone's not making much hey noise. There. See you around. Anyway, freedom is basically the libertarian style guys here, and duty is pretty much your hardcore conservative types. Duty believes that the zone should be essentially shut down, purged, whatever. They, you know, they're there to protect the world from the zone, pretty much. Um, freedom is, hey, let's exploit the fucking zone, take what we can, and, you know, learn about it, because who knows what the hell this place is or why this happened. Of course, if you played the original Stalker Shadow of Pripyat, um, you know why the zone appeared. That's assuming, of course, you weren't stupid enough to get killed by the wish granter but anyways nitro he's the uh, gun repair guy I can get the materials for you Okay, so I will find him the tools. And we'll go out here and we'll start collecting you missions. Well met. Okay, I believe he's duty. Hello. Yeah. That's pilot. What's up, bro? Tell me how you killed the controller. I clocked the controller sitting right on top of it. Yada yada yada. 
I used it to shield myself as I was sneaking up on it. By the time it woke up to what was going on, I'd pumped it half a clip into the cocksucker's head. Just as it started trying to control me, I gave it a final bash with my rifle butt, and that was that. See you next time. Yeah, I think this guy's a bullshit artist, if I remember right. What do I do? If I go, I'll lose money. If I don't go, I'll end up dead. Okay, and I sold my old suit, got all my cash, and brought it to him. Jack was like, well done, Vano, but what about the interest? Yeah, he's right, I need to get the interest to him. Da -da -da. Okay, so basically this guy's pissing himself because he's got to pay money to the uh, bandits. Okay, yeah, we're going to go find our bed because uh, I don't really want to go running around outside after dark. Uh, let's see, where the hell was... Okay, that's where Nitro is. That goes outside. All right. Time's money. Get talking. That's a leader of duty. There we go. That's where the bed is. And the box. There's our box. Sadly, in order to get my stuff from uh, Zayton to here, I gotta go pump it all back. And that basically means multiple runs because uh, obviously I can't carry everything in one shot. So that's $1,000 per trip one way. So, or 1,000 rubles. So, um, assuming three trips, that's six grand. Yeah. All right. All right, let's sleep. Oh, getting hungry. Okay, well. Decrease my weight a little bit. All right, well, we'll go find out about this guy's bandit problems. Um... Good luck. <coughs> okay, put the grenades away. I'll give you an idea of what we're looking at. Here's Yanov Station, our nice little lovely home base. Here's the uh, scientist's bunker. Oh, that's, uh, that's the... Uh, Uh, the Vela's detectors where those go. Here's where one of the evacuation locations is, and that's at the uh, anti-aircraft complex. Kopachi, I think that's like a farm or something. Ah, uh, yes, an ash heap anomaly. So we've got more anomalies here to go through. Cooling tower, that's another little area to explore. It's kind of an interesting little quest attached there. The substation, um, Quarry, that's essentially another anomaly. Eastern Tunnel, that I believe is the way out of this region. Jupiter Plant, yeah, that's where one of the choppers is. Another anomaly. Helipads, that's where another chopper is. Stingray one. Ventilation Complex, there's a good uh, quest there, and another anomaly. Well, anyway, you get the idea. We've got some more exploring and looting to do. Of course, this is the city of Pripyat over here, but we're not really worried about that. Well, anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, I think it turned off my... Uh... my uh... It turned off my quest marker. Yes, yes, I know, quest markers are hand-holding, yada, 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 but, you know, I kind of prefer a little bit of hand-holding like that, in a lot of ways. Either that, or do you like Morrowind, and have a lot of really good description, and make damn sure the game geometry actually matches those descriptions. Because, you know, wandering around trying to figure out where shit is, might have been fun back in the old 
MS-DOS days, not so much these days. It's like, you know, I don't have as much time just to sit there and blindly wander around the fucking place and try to find uh, anything going on here. Oh, let me see. If you need something, the boss is over there. Okay, so where... Okay, yeah, I gotta go in here. I have to speak to Jack. It's about Vano. Go on, then. Move your fucking bandit ass out of my way, dude. Would you look at that? The man himself. I'm here to pay yeah, Vano's debt. Yeah, I remember him. His debt ain't small, and with the juice running, it's up to 7 G's. Think carefully now. I've got my shooter here, and I don't mind using it. Tell me, what is your corpse going to do with all that interest? Show that pea shooter up your ass, punk. It's 7 G's, including interest. End of story. I prefer to shoot you down for free. <laughs> I'm about to make some good bandits. And unfortunately for these assholes... Hey, a nice little... New... Uh, I didn't want to do that. Um, just loot everything. Fuck. New shotgun. I got lots of medical supplies, though. So these clowns are not going to like it. So there's ten more left. If you look in the uh, upper left-hand corner, that number next to the mini-map. That's how many people are detected by the uh, PDA. Now we're down to eight. Now so a collection of bandit corpses getting started. How's it doing? Okay, good. We're still pretty good on durability. Well, come on, guys. You're all a bunch of badasses. Why don't you come on and, you know, show me who's fucking boss? Return to Vano. Not yet. Love it when you can show point these motherfuckers. Forty five caliber rounds, I'll just take all of it. grenade further. Oh fuck, that was fumble finger throw if I ever seen one. Oh, that one stuck on the door too. <coughs> Alright. Well anyway, we'll let these assholes Stack up and try to do something about me. Okay, uh, another combat shotgun, so we'll take that. How much weight do I... I'm getting close to full. I have to be a little more picky about what I take. Yes, we will take a health kit. 
All right, I think that yeah, I'm getting loaded up. Hey guys, um, it's been really lucrative, you know, stealing from the corpses of all your friends and whatnot. But I th I've got other stuff to do, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these guys behind. There's only one dude left. I just killed the shit out of him last. And Where are you at, bro? Where are you at, dude? He's this way, okay. Okay, well. How are we doing? We got 12 of those grenades, and we have one of those. <coughs> okay, well, the bandit problem is solved for this guy. We are heavily overloaded. Unload. Not uh, overloaded, but you know. Unload. Come on. Yeah, the inventory man uh, manipulation is a little bit on the uh, pinky side. I've already got one of these, so I'm just going to toss that one. Unload. I'll sell that. I think it's worth a decent amount of money. A black kite. Yeah, I remember these as being pretty decent. Uh, I think there's like a desert eagle or something. Ah, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm still too heavily loaded. But I feel a lot better. I got to shoot a bunch of bandits. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is now that we're in Yanov, um... I think the next task is going to be going to Stingray 1. I remember this is full of anomalies and shit like that. Oh no, it's actually a minefield. That's right. This is all a fucking minefield. That's right. So these things here come in handy. Now in the original Stalker, this was a mechanic that was introduced to uh, trigger anomalies so you can map out where they were and not get into the middle of them. You throw a bolt out there and if it hit an anomaly, it would go off. Like an electric anomaly, would there be lightning flying? Fire, there'd be fire. The other weird stuff. You'd see some kind of effect from the bolt impacting the anomaly. And you'd know, don't walk there because it's going to jack your ass up. Well. Uh, in this, it doesn't seem to work quite the same. God, I love those little bits and pieces of physics though. A little bit better if I could actually run. I'll have to buy some more energy drinks. <coughs> and of course you have infinite bolts for reasons. I don't know why they chose to use bolts and not just random stuff, because, you know... Oh, I need to go over here and talk to, uh, this guy. Yeah, fix all this shit, dude. I want to sell it. Okay, well, we got a bunch of new guns fixed up. And now we find somebody who wants to buy guns. I think the bartender here will buy guns, though. So. You know, to joy, pleasure, or both in equal measure. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Anyway. Okay, a little over five grand. All right, I can dig that. I'm digging on it. All right. Uh, let me see. Do we have anything else that we need to? Yeah, we don't need any nine by nineteen, so we can lose that. I'm not gonna bother with shotgun shells because I'm just gonna drop that in my box. The eliminator. Yeah, basically it's a street sweeper. And that's gonna go in the box, especially weighing in almost well a little over three and a half keys. So sell this stuff. We're back down to a somewhat more respectable weight. See you next time. See you.
Okay, uh, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I think we'll just go ahead and call that good right there. And just for the hell of it, just to have something to show you guys that's a, at least somewhat interesting, we're going to go do an anomaly real quick. I think the closest one is going to be Anomalous Grove or Quarry. I think we'll hit the Quarry first. I think that's a better, more interesting place. Didn't buy any. I'll, I'll get him from Beard because I am going to travel back and... Uh, <coughs> Go get uh, the necessary supplies, why not from him? I don't know why. I, I seem to like Beard a little bit better than this guy. Okay, here's the quarry. This thing has stashes up on it, too. Looks like the uh, Bagger 288 probably is some uh, version of the Bagger, but you know. Yeah, let's. See what riches await us, huh? Oh, I thought there were uh, anomalies here. Yes, there are. Okay. There's an artifact. Oh, it does trigger. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to walk into that. Oh, there's two artifacts. Okay, well, we got one. I saw it roll out and... <coughs> okay, and there's another one. Alright, as you can see, that's basically it for artifact hunting. You pretty much use your device to indicate where the artifact is. And the super device will actually show you the anomalies, so that makes it a whole lot easier. You're not as apt to get completely fucked on by a uh, walking through an anomaly, which is a huge expense when it comes right down to it, because it will eat your armor alive. I'm going to get out of here. Get us a nice little... Oh, this will, I'll go over here. I think that's a better spot. I'm going to go get a spot for the uh, screenshot for... Uh, oh, fuck's sake. For the uh, video here. All right, yeah, so what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm probably not going to be showing all of the anomalies on camera because that would get kind of old. I will show the uh, major side quests that I know of and find. Um, like this area here, this is all bandits. and There's like a kidnapping thing going on. Um, one of them I'm going to avoid like the fucking plague is there's a group of mercenaries sitting out front here in this little camp-like area. You can see the little dots of the boxes and shit they sit on. Um, not doing that one. I've literally never had a good time with that one. It's basically you guard a scientist while, uh, he scans, um, well, one of them is, I believe, is you get guard scientists while they scan the anomaly. It might not be from the guys out front. It might be from one of them inside. I'm not 100% sure. Point is, it's a terrible mission. The scientist is fucking slow at getting anything done. Um, and you're constantly attacked by beasts. And odds are, he's gonna get killed repeatedly. And you just can't kill the fucking beasts fast enough to save him. I mean, I succeeded in it before, but it's a lot of work for relatively little reward. Hey, sounds like working in real life. Ha. Anyway, alright guys, I will catch you guys next time, and we will continue this.